My name is Kristen and I'm a full-time reseller along with my husband, Kevin. And part of the process of being a full-time reseller or doing a high volume of listings and sales is finding as many efficiencies in your process as possible. This means that we don't have time to spend 20 minutes making a listing. We gotta do it in like two or three minutes. And I wanted to share with you all about templates and why creating one for ourselves has been one of the most valuable assets to our business because we are able to list faster than ever before. I'm going to share with you all how I do that on a desktop, but these practices do work if you list from your phone as well. Um, and it works not only for Poshmark, but for any other platform as well. This is my closet. Um, my husband and I share it. It's voyage is a verb. And you can see that the pictures are all very consistent. Um, you know that they all belong together and you know when you experience one of these listings that, that they belong to our brand and our closet. We didn't want it to stop there though. We wanted to make sure that when you actually read the description that it felt professional, buttoned up, and no matter which listing that you're on in our closet, it all feels very um, similar. And so we include information like features, fabric content, and so forth. I would love to share with you all what spurred on my desire to create this template. Um, it is because I was sick of looking at this blank screen right here, this blank description box, and not knowing how to get started. It was hard to be creative in a new way every time I tried to make a listing. It felt like there was a lot um, of stuff that I wanted to include all at once, and so it felt kind of overwhelming. So this is actually what our description looks like now when we get started. These, this is our template. A template is basically all of the information that you want to include no matter what kind of item you are listing. I want to include features, fabric content, the size of the item. I want people to know that they can request measurements. Um, I want to share the condition, especially if it's pre-owned, that's important, as well as what is the SKU? Where am I going to go find the item when it sells? That's in these boxes behind me right here. Um, and so each item has a SKU associated with them. And then finally, I have like a little note. You want this to be, if you have something like this at the end, you want it to be as short as possible because you only have a certain amount of characters to use. I feel like ours is a little long and I want to continue to work on refining it so it's not taking out taking up valuable space. But sometimes there are notices that you want your buyers to know and it's helpful to include that in your template as well sometimes. Uh, I would love to share with you all what other people are doing within the community. Um, this first one is by... Emerald Avenue, and these are a pair of Diane von Furstenberg sandal wedges. And so she shares first the brand name, then she shares what is the item. So these are sandals that are made of leather and wood, and the size. Then she describes the item. This is very important. Describing the item and creating, describing the features is important because people are searching. They are searching for your item, and if you don't have keywords that matches their keywords, they are not going to find it. So that is critical. Um, she includes the condition, which is everybody should have the condition in their description so that you, your buyers know exactly what they're getting and the condition that they're going to get it in, as well as she includes uh, a few of the measurements that she found were useful for her buyers. So that is really helpful right there. She also includes where it was made. Um, another example might be here is Stay Thrifty, and she has the features, similar to how we have the features. I think features are really helpful, especially right away, because it gives you the space to just start listing and just start kind of brain dumping all of the features that you see in the picture or with your item, uh, and it gets you moving really quickly. She has the color, the size, the condition, the brand, and she again, like like we do, she adds like a little bit of a quip. Offers are always welcome. She doesn't model anything, and measurements are available when you ask for them. So that is helpful just to kind of and see how short it is. It's short, it's sweet, it's not overwhelming. And then another one here, uh, I actually have this highlighted intentionally because I thought this one was really interesting. She starts with the brand and the fact that it's a long necklace. She's using lots of keywords. Not only is she using feature keywords, but she's also using theme and occasion keywords. These are keywords that maybe I'm looking for something like a boho duster and I type that in. Well, if you're not using those keywords that people are searching, they're not going to find it. And I thought this was a really beautiful way for her to include keywords. When you're thinking of keywords, 
please do not use brands that are not the brand that you're selling. It is tempting because if I'm looking for Lululemon and you're selling something for forever, from Forever 21 and you include Lululemon in your uh, description box and I search it, I'm going to find your listing. So it's very tempting to use that to your advantage. I am coming here to say, please don't do that. It makes the buying experience very arduous and very tedious. And we want buyers to have a great experience on Poshmark on these platforms because if a buyer of mine has a great experience with me, it means they're more likely to come to you and have a great experience with you. And so I am of the mindset that we work together. That is my soapbox. Make sure you're not using brand names in your tags that are not the brand that you're using. However, I am all for every other tag that is associated with the style that you have. Think like a buyer. I can't say that enough. Make sure that your template is set up so that a buyer can get every piece of information they want from you that is relevant to your piece, as well as gives you a chance to just get your listings up as quickly as possible. Um, I hope this is helpful. It has been a really great way for me to further brand my stuff, as well as it has been a great way to get me moving and shaking and listing quicker than ever before. You can use apps like Text Expander, um, which will allow you to just literally write a couple letters and your template will pop up. You can copy and paste it in, however you want to do it, but I cannot recommend highly if you're not just selling things out of your closet, if you are creating a brand, if you're creating a storefront, I would say make sure you have a template that feels good to you, feels right to you. Don't copy somebody else's. Make one that that is your brand and your style and exactly how you want it to be. Uh, so I hope that's helpful, guys. Thank you so much for joining and have a wonderful day. Mwah.